Hi everyone, so happy new year. Um, it's been a challenging time. I hope things are going okay for you and that you're safe and that you're well. Um, in today's video, I thought I'd chat about some of the things that I didn't necessarily think about when I took my job as a uni lecturer, but actually things that have turned out to be really cool parts about my job. Um, so hi, I'm Caroline. I'm a UK-based physics lecturer. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for clicking on the channel again in 2021. If you're new, welcome to our little academic space here on YouTube. So I became a university lecturer a few years ago, and I guess these are my top three things that are definite benefits of my job that I didn't necessarily think about at the time when I took the position. So the first thing is being a university lecturer feels a little bit like being your own boss. Um, so yes, I do have a line manager. When I joined as a new member of staff and I was on probation, which is what all new, well, new academics in the UK do, we go on a probation period, um, my line manager was the head of department. And then when I came off probation, my line manager is now my research group lead. Um, so yes, I do have a line manager. Yes, I do have week, or well, not weekly, thankfully. Yes, I do have yearly appraisals. Um, but day to day, I'm in control of the direction of travel of my research area. You know, I set the projects for my research students to work on. I'm accountable for the research output and making sure we have good publications and we show our research at appropriate conferences. I'm responsible for winning money for my research area. So I need to put in research grant applications to get funding so I can fund more students to work on more projects. So actually, day to day, I have a lot of accountability, both for the direction of travel of my research area and the students that work in alongside me in my group. And I also have accountability for our research output and for winning future funding. And that makes you feel a little bit like your own boss. Um, so before I joined academia, I used to work in industry. And I definitely feel now that I'm in a UK university working as a lecturer, I feel a lot more as I said, in control of where I'm going with my research. And that does make you feel a little bit more like you are your own boss. And I think that's really cool. You know, it's really nice to have the job security, I guess, of the university framework around you, but to have that control over my own research direction. So that's one of the first cool things about being a UK university lecturer, um, or at least that's one of the cool things in my experience. Um, I guess it might be different if you're at a different university or working in a different department, but at any rate, my experience is that it feels pretty cool, like I am working a little bit for myself. Uh, the second really cool thing about university is the kind of the academic community that you can just step straight into when you join the university. So yes, when I worked in industry, I had a lovely network of colleagues throughout my company, and I also had some lovely international colleagues. Um, but when I joined the university, you find that your inbox gets invites to maybe a collaborative workshop or to go and hear a talk at another one of the departments at the university. Because although I'm in the physics department, I'm also part of the Faculty of Physical Engineering and Sciences, and I'm also an academic within the wider university. And that just gives you all these opportunities to talk and to exchange ideas with really interesting, passionate people who really love what they're working on. They love their research area or their area of study, really creative. Um, so yeah, it's just really nice, I think, to have that ready-made community of people that you sort of join when you join the university. Um, so yeah, having an awesome network across campus is definitely a bonus about being a uni lecturer. And I think the third thing that kind of is really cool is, yes, I have my day to day teaching duties, so I have to do my teaching. Yes, I do have some admin duties. So I'm an admissions tutor. So I have administration duties. Um, my research is incredibly important in making sure the students who are working on their PhD projects and their master's projects are progressing their particular areas of research. But alongside all of that, as a, a member of the university, you get invited to take part in stuff that you might not otherwise have done. So I get invited to take, you know, give talks, uh, to go and represent the university at particular meetings. Um, but also there's some really cool fun stuff. Like I was invited to take part in stand-up comedy. Now, working in industry, I don't think I would have 
chosen to go and take part in a stand-up comedy evening. I'm not sure I'd have ever thought, yeah, let's go and do that for a bit of fun. But as, a, as an academic, it was something my university were involved in. They wanted academics to take part. And so before I sort of knew what was happening, I was on a stage. I was doing stand-up comedy for the very first time. Um, I clearly enjoyed it because I did it for a further two occasions. So I've actually done stand-up comedy on three events. The last event was even kind of recorded by the radio, the local radio station, although I hope that recording never comes to light because, yeah, I'm not sure my jokes were massively funny. But it was just that chance to try something new and different um, and to go a little bit outside maybe your comfort zone. Like, I like doing social media. Um, I'm very happy talking to large crowds. I've done, you know, I've worked on the radio. I've done stuff and bits and pieces here on YouTube. So talking's fine. But actually trying to be a stand-up com comedian, that was quite a long way outside my kind of usual area <laughs> that I operate in. You know, it's very different from making the odd joke in a lecture to then trying to make a series of jokes in seven minutes. And it's just so cool that the university gives you those opportunities to try something different and to develop your personal skill set. So yeah, those unexpected opportunities alongside your main research and the main parts of your job, I think are another pretty cool reason to be a university lecturer. So um, yeah, there, there are three things that I guess I didn't necessarily think about when I accepted the job, but now I've worked as a lecturer for a few years. They are three things I think are pretty cool about the job. Um, but obviously they're the positive bits. Now there's always going to be parts in the job that maybe aren't so positive. So possibly for balance, maybe next Monday in the video, I should do maybe the three least desirable bits about being a university lecturer, just so we've got some balance because obviously there's good parts to a job and there's more challenging, maybe difficult, maybe parts that you don't want to do that come along with that job as well. Um, but when this video goes up, I will be back, so semester will have restarted, so my Christmas holiday will be over and I'll be back again working within the university. Um, we have the pandemic still, things in the UK are changing so quickly all the time. At the moment we're looking like it's going to be hybrid teaching, mainly online until the start of the second semester, um, but I will find out more in the next few days. So my Thursday videos, I'm going to try to keep them as a weekly vlog video. So it'll just give you a snapshot into what's happening at the university that week, how I'm finding things, whether I'm having a good week, whether it's being a little bit of a, a tougher week at the university. Um, so that will be coming up on Thursday. And then on Monday, we'll have more of these kind of videos where I chat um, a little bit more about the kind of the bigger picture about being a UK lecturer. So if that's your kind of thing, if you're um, an academic, maybe you want to be an academic, maybe just like university stuff, please do like and subscribe. It's so cool to have this little space here on YouTube. If you are working um, in a university, say maybe you're a teaching fellow, a research fellow, a lecturer, I'd love to know what bit of the job you enjoy the most, you know, which things are your kind of extra highlight things that maybe you didn't think about before you take the, took the job on, but now you really, really like them. Um, but have a good few days. I'll see you on Thursday for the weekly blog update. And then hopefully I'll see you off the weekend for another one of these videos. So take care, see you soon, uh, look after yourselves, and yeah, I'll see you in a few days. Bye.